So I'm here at Audi of South Austin, and I'm gonna tell you the story, the story, the story about Silver Car. In here is John, my friend John, and he knows all about it. Hey, what's up, John? How are we doing? We're doing well. Hopefully, uh, well, this will be a quick story because it's in the R8. <laughs> <laughs> Rather quick. All right. God, this thing is awesome. It's kind of sweet. Not bad for a little six-year-old Audi. Hell yeah. Gotta love S-Tronic. <laughs> Now this is actually the R-Tronic, single. Oh, that's right, there's a difference. The singlet. Yeah. It's actually really smooth once, once you kind of learn how to shift the gears and whatnot. Well, I'll let you do the driving and the talking. All right. What do we want to know? We want to know about Silver Car. This is where it started, right? Well, kind of. started in Austin, Texas. Okay. And more of a hearsay, you know, I, I was actually there when uh, the first the first concept uh, had already been thought of, and these two guys walked into the Audi store and said, hey, we need four identical Audis, the premium plus with the nav, I was like, all right, and they said it needs to be, uh, they all need to be silver in color. I was like, all right. Started talking to them. They're like, yeah, we're gonna, we have this idea. We're gonna do a, uh, a rental car company and we're just gonna rent silver A4s. I was like, oh, that sounds kind of cool. It's like, if everything works out, we're probably gonna need about 200 of these. Nice. It's like, oh, sweet. This is gonna be a good year. Yeah, that'll be good for you, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Out he stepped in and said, no, 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 we'll take it from here. And uh, it's been a huge success. Yeah, and, obviously. Uh, last year, Audi acquired Silver Car. Right. And uh, they're growing and growing and expanding. And now if you go skiing up in Denver, I believe you can even get a, a Q5. Oh, yeah, yeah. Silver Q5s. You get Q5s and the A5 cab now, too. Yep. Pretty so. soon, silver R8s. Really? Oh, I don't know. Well, we, we'll, awesome. well, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> right on. And uh, there was always a thing. I remember seeing it on Jalopnik, of all places. Now, like, the, the cars were equipped a little differently than normal, right? Yeah, they were kind of a, a tweener. They were in between the uh, uh, premium and premium plus uh, with a tech package. So it had... Uh, pretty much all the things you'd want uh, in an Audi. Uh, they came along with the, the navigation system. Ah, ripping. <laughs> See, it's just smooth. It's nice. You just gotta know, gotta know when to unleash it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, can't do that in the streets of London. <laughs> Not necessarily. Anyway, the, uh, so basically it's a, a silver car build is what they do now, I guess. It's a, uh, you get a, a premium, not a premium plus. Uh, they add the nav and, and stuff. It's their own, own custom thing. And they do a lot of their, uh, uh developing their technology and stuff with with Audi now. And Traffic. Yeah, traffic. It's typical. This happens to me all the time here in my videos. I've seen some crazy stuff here. Um, so basically what we're saying is it started at Audi of South Austin. It started I in, in Audi, uh, at Audi in Austin. There we go. Uh, we now have uh, two different stores. That's true. Uh, here in this town. Uh, come get some. 
<laughs> he doesn't want it. <laughs> Not gonna have it. Nope. He ain't playing. Nice. And, and uh, while we're on the subject, this is a special little R8 you guys have, right? Yeah, this is a uh, 2012. Uh, they made 50 of these. They had was the first time they came out with this matte Daytona gray paint. Super nice. And now it's your personal car? No. <laughs> If you're looking for an R8, definitely talk to John. And this is basically where I'm going to end this on a high note here with Audi because this was my video about silver car, but I have a lot of other videos <laughs> related to Audi of South Boston and all the bitchin' cars I've driven there. And I appreciate all your uh, support by watching and liking and commenting and please subscribe. And uh, we'll just end this out on a, on a casual drive back to the dealership. <laughs> So you can you can end now or hang around. <laughs> Typical Austin traffic. Stopped on the right lane too. <laughs> we lost him. Does yeah. shift really, really quick? No, it's it's it feels like uh, like a very purposeful shift. It's not supposed to be like a smooth. It's definitely like the race version. Wow, and that's a naturally aspirated V8 mm -hmm. mm. with a little bit of an aftermarket exhaust. Yeah, for me, that's it's the way to go. I've always loved the R8, the original with the V8. And I'm definitely a big fan of the manual, but R-Tronic? It works. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>